Frank Caramba has created a lot of buzz but not in the way that rapper Tyga wanted it to be. In today's video, we are going to discuss what Tyga has said after the backlash which he has received recently. Stay tuned to find out. The American rapper Tyga has finally addressed the backlash that he received in his latest music video, which was released on July 8th. On July 28th, the rapper made an appearance at the Power 106 studios in Los Angeles to put out a formal apology. Tyga apologized for hurting the feelings of the Mexican-American community and for depicting them in a stereotypical manner in his video. He has always paid tribute to Latinos in his art. He joined American Cholo on LA, Leakers After, the radio station, started a video with a statement appreciating the effort made by the duo to have an open conversation on the recent issue. The interview stated with Tejada telling why he thinks I Caramba received terrible reviews on social media, and especially for Mexican fans. Meanwhile, Tejada said, I'm looking at the video and initially I see a greasy, fat Mexican eating chips, rooms all dirty, and then I see when he is outside, in the low rider you got tortilla chips falling down. The American Cholo host said that if a music video from a brown creator used stereotypical black images, for example, showing the character eating fried chicken and watermelon falling from the sky in lieu of tortilla chips, the person would also be a victim for backlash. Tyga learned about the backlash last week when he returned from his shows in Europe, however, he was totally disturbed, which is why he didn't respond quickly. The rapper said, I tried to do my research a little bit. I tried to ask a lot of my friends that I grew up and especially who were Mexican. Tyga explained that he also consulted various Mexican people in his inner circle, such as the engineer on his music video and his DJ. He also said that he hoped that the video will display different Latin things. The first character the rapper described was a nod to one of Eddie Murphy's multiple personas in The Nutty Professor, and he said that he did not wish to offend anyone. Tejada then said that Taiga is not the only musician who has portrayed Mexican culture for music videos. The list includes YG's clothes in Go Loco and a mariachi band in Blueface Carn Asada. Tejada claimed that appropriation of Mexican culture is almost at a boiling point. If you are liking this content so far, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Now let's continue. Taiga, who said he grew up with Mexican friends and culture in Los Angeles, admitted that he is in no position to assume what can or what can't be offensive to the Latino community. Tejada also suggested that Taiga should hire cultural consultants the next time he wishes to pay tribute to the community. The rapper added that collaborations with Mexican artists can also lead to better presentation. Tejada then asked the rapper if he's ready to take that video down. Taiga responded and said he's definitely open for that. However, he cracked a joke that bigger and more popular records should remain unchanged. As of now, it looks like Taiga has made a good decision in his life. The I Caramba music video is no longer publicly listed on YouTube and is not on his official page. He added a note which stated that his art is never meant to offend anybody. His art and music should bring people together. A similar incident happened on July 1st. Tyga released a music video for his new song One of One on YouTube, and later on the video flashed multiple controversies. Many viewers shared their frustration about the video, which was shot in Jamaica and featured Amina Blue, who was an American model instead of a woman from Jamaica. Beyond that, Blue is seen wearing Bantu knots, a hairstyle with African roots. This allowed many people to denounce the video. For cultural appropriation, Taiga also has Jamaican descent, which appeared to fuel frustration over his act of casting Blue as the leading lady instead of a Jamaican woman. Taiga is also not new to controversy. In late 2012, he was sued by two women who were a part of his Make It Nasty video. The women claimed that he had shown their chest area without their permission. They were assured that this would be crossed out, and the unedited version would not be released. However, Taiga moved on to release a fully unedited version. On September 21, 2013, another woman from the same video sued Taiga for invasion of privacy and infliction of emotional pain. She also claimed that she was convinced to dance without a dress and promised that her chest area would be edited out. While Eminem, who is one of the most popular rappers of all time, is also being called out for cold 
cultural appropriation for an old music video after Tyga was forced to apologize to the Mexican community over one of the same incidents. Eminem's song with D12 titled My Band was released in 2004 and featured a portion where Eminem and his group are dressed in a way that are in a mariachi band, while this has also been dubbed as inappropriate. Eminem was heard singing about how his salsa makes all the pretty girls want to dance and get in their underpants, but since Tyga has recently called out, not much has been revealed about the clip that is almost two decades old. What's your take on Tyga's ancient habit of creating controversies? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Well, that's it for today. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our upcoming videos. See you soon. Thanks for watching.